करते हैं Hey guys, we are back. Welcome to my channel BNB, and I am Avi. We have Rushan here, and we have our special guest, who is a regular in our show now, Priyam. He's no more a guest. He's no more a guest. No yeah, more a guest. I'm family now. I'm I'm staying, guys. Discuss time travel, and since there's no book, there's no theory, so we are going to discuss from our individual point point of view. I think probably all of us have seen uh, Back to the Future. So if I go back in time and probably start from the first time when we saw a time travel movie, say from Back to the Future, which came in 1985, from there, different countries making their own time travel movies. Still, probably 2020, where you have a dark and a tenet. These movies have taught us a lot of things, and you know there are a lot of theories now. Earlier, you could just go back in time and come back, but it's not like that anymore. I mean, there are other stuffs now. Priyam, let's start. I mean, you tell me from where. I mean, you know your earlier stages of time travel. What did you see first? And you know, let's take it from there. Let's go chronologically from the passage of time. I think uh, one of the first times, you know, uh, I was. I mean, introduced to time travel. I don't even remember what was the first time. I don't know. I guess in college, uh, there were plenty of uh, time travel movies that I watched. You know, uh, one of them was uh, Predestination, and uh, then. you know i i spent a few nights completely awake after that because it is such a you know mind blowing film then you know i just i started pondering more about time travel and all i uh, i read the theories first i guess so i my introduction to time travel was more through discovery rather than films you know uh, i it just it's a nice story i just saw, uh, saw over the internet about albert einstein and uh, you know this is back in uh, 1905 before uh, he was even a, a famous scientist and uh, he was uh, working and uh, he he just piled up, he just wrapped up his work uh, quickly and uh, he left the office and while he was going back in a tram he was uh, the tram was moving he was sitting in a tram and he was looking at at the clock tower and while looking at the clock in the clock tower einstein realized that if the tram were to move at the speed of light correct he would the time in the clock tower would stop changing and uh, that is you know that is the inception of how he got into the whole uh, time travel thing and then you know uh, how his uh, theory is unraveled later on but uh, i think it's a very uh, interesting story to start off a podcast on time travel like for me my first time travel uh, movie was back to the future the classic of course yeah. uh, there was nothing i guess before the movie uh, the only time travel for me was to you know sleep during the day and then wake up <laughs> at some weird time yeah. you wake up and you feel a little weird you know like what yeah, time like, where am i what is yeah, what is, this what is it so <laughs> that's that's one of the personal feelings i would say but otherwise yes of course back to the future classic uh, i've watched uh, the first uh, the second and the third and i really like the I think you know it's for humans. Time traveling is basically all about either you want to travel to the past, change something that you regret, or travel to the future and just uh, just want to see how it all ends up. At so, I guess that's that's basically what Back to the Future serves uh, in in the movie. And uh, yeah, it's totally relatable. But then yes, now as we see how movies have been, the the dimensions. Absolutely changing. 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 Even in newspapers, like there's always a new theory unfolding. Like if you if you like uh, regularly see newspapers, there's always just one small cutout uh, somewhere in the corner, you know, where they have uh, some new scientific theories and everything. And uh, there's every now and then there's like oh you know someone discovered a new dimension or someone discovered a new theory. It's a very dynamic time to live in. A lot of these are obviously they end up. Uh, someone who is just trying to you know create some stories it's it's very fascinating to hear you know such stories where wow someone was and even even in youtube if you if you search for 
you know time traveling videos you will get a lot of those fake videos where you know people have the cctv footages of you know how uh, some car appeared in some yeah. road or how someone appeared and they you know claim that it, it that was a time traveling yeah avi what what brings you uh, to this topic today um guys i mean i want to get to this topic because of course i'm i'm a great fan i mean i've always been a fan of the time travel phenomenon and uh, trust me i've seen a lot of films other than the commercial films there have been those smaller films and i always google and you know i mean i don't i i have always been downloading and searching and i can say i can vouch for myself that i have seen a lot of time travel films like other than the big wigs and the avengers and which you know but i think there are a lot of films in time travel and i somehow when i saw the trailer of tenet i really wanted to actually discuss how i mean things are going in a different direction and i think after christopher nolan made interstellar it really made me think that okay time travel is not just going back to 1983 and coming back you know there are other things so i really wanted to discuss about what do we know you know basically today's uh, podcast i want to discuss about what do we know about time travel so the initial theories are if you go back in time you don't mess up you don't you don't you don't try to change things which can actually harm your existence so that's the whole base where uh, back to the future was made i i thought probably it is one of the greatest time travel films because even today if i watch i don't actually find a wrong note you know where they could have gone wrong i mean that is that was pretty that's smart right. and and you know some of the things which they show in the back to the future movie when they go to the future yeah those yeah. are still futuristic some some aspect you know like some are still okay we i guess we are living you know with i mean we are doing video calls come on this is future already uh-huh. so flying car, flying cars didn't happen in 2015 i think 2015 uh, uh, supposed to be the year you know after 1985 i think that was the year which was shown in back to the future so when it didn't happen but okay i mean i i still give the benefit of the doubt because the movie came out in 1985 i think the first time i saw time travel something there was a movie called the time machine and it had guy pierce yeah and yes. we kind of it's not a great film i think it's not a great ending but that movie showed something that you cannot change i mean that is one theory where they say that you cannot change the ending no matter how much you go and you know try to play with the past somehow the ending will always be the same all the movies i have been seeing in the past for a while maybe till 20, 2010 have been like you go back in time you do something which you know comes back and you, you you come back and you see a different future i mean the entire avengers end game is on the basis that you go back it's like a time heist what they say it's you go back in time steal things and put those things back in places so i mean their future is affected but you know over the years now then after christopher nolan basically you know i want to discuss this guy because he made me think i mean I, you guys have seen the trailer of tenet right i mean yeah i mean it was mind boggling so i thought okay why not i mean because after seeing interstellar i realized that okay time travel is not just about you know so when you talk about space i mean uh there was a big debate like when i mean people say when you go go out of space because of the speed of light you know so if if two guys we both are sitting here all all, all three of us wearing the watch say priyam goes to space and comes back probably his time will be little different than ours we yeah, i agree to your point i have all, i will i also read one of those uh, articles when when they go to um the space uh, so the time in earth moves some microseconds faster which is like really yeah, yeah, you know, really yeah. something that you cannot uh, make it uh, make a difference of but yes when when they come back about, yeah. they are some microseconds younger than us so basically yeah that even happens to you if you live on a higher floor then uh, your anyways uh, the time for you is moving like a few microseconds uh, slower than the person on the lower floor for the person on the lower floor for the person on the lower floor the time is relatively faster it's again the gravity you know that bends the yeah. time even in school i think i mean uh, we were taught i think speed i think speed is equal to distance by time so time is equal to distance by speed so more your speed i think your time will keep changing if the distance yeah. i mean it's not math obviously it's not like we are uh, relating I, math. i think that's the only physics uh, <laughs> that's all we know i mean uh, uh, formula that i remember <laughs> you know? 
so i mean we we know i mean i think we all are aware of the time travel where you go back in time but guys i want to understand from you guys what do you know what do you think about alternate dimensions alternate dimensions in a sense check this out this is this movie called coherence and i'm not giving the story out so basically this is a time travel film it was made as an experiment film and it kind of did well on amazon so it's like you know there are a few friends who meet for a dinner one night and there is a comet which is going to pass yeah, and when the comet now passes, I you know there are a lot of dimensions which open up and apparently if you calculate so there are like more than a million uh, realities available at that point of time so it's like there are another million realities where these eight guys guys are sitting and talking so if by chance you leave the house you might enter a different reality and you know this is something which i'm talking about because the whole this movie is just based on like one night and one dinner one party night. and then by the time it's morning there are like so many basically me and me rushan and priyam are having a dialogue now and say another me rushan and priyam are in another reality and something happens and i do step out so me from this reality is actually gone in that reality and from there probably maybe there are two of us maybe that guy didn't leave you know yes. maybe that guy is very angry i mean this uh, hit me a lot i mean I've, i think it, it's amazing movie i guess uh, everyone should watch it please like even if it is a uh, i mean this is all a work of fiction but if you can make someone believe what a, what a concept i was really amazed by this movie looper looper yeah Looper, yeah. yeah. Again, uh, you know, time no, once again, I think even before like we dive into dimension, there is one thing I guys want to I want to ask you guys. Like, uh, if you had to stick with one thing, right? Uh, how would you How would you want your uh, time travel story uh, to be? You know, uh, in in first uh, case scenario, the time is just linear. You know, so if you go back and go forward in time, there is just one timeline. So if you change something over there. there is a chain of effect no, and alternate you're yeah. creating another reality parallel reality yeah so that is the second in this one you just change your reality and then when you come back to the future the whole thing is different suppose you went in the past and uh, you changed place of salt and pepper in a restaurant uh, and you came back to the future you know something some random shit has changed somewhere it could uh, lead right? to something and lead to something yeah yeah correct yeah. like terminator you know like terminator you know you go into the future uh, past and stop john See, I, i think i think that has been the basis of every hollywood movie yeah. in terms of time traveling yeah. to go to the past and change something and, and then change past and hitler yeah. ko mar do that the world war to new war then yeah. there is another ke jo which, which avi was talking right now uh, that if you change something it creates a separate timeline you know separate branch in time and uh, then there is a whole uh, set of events happening over there and that acts as a separate parallel universe to yours okay and then there is uh, another one that there are already a set of different universes yeah. existing with this one with okay. all the set of possible possibilities uh, you know and then you can just jump through them but they don't intersect they are just parallel that's that's so, like in modi which is yeah very close if i was having this conversation with you guys probably back in 2004 i mean i would be happy with the first one but now with so much knowledge and obviously i mean i've been watching dark now and i can't stop talking about it and all this i think i would really prefer probably the second one where if you go back in time and say you know i i go and probably i create a fight somewhere which is not necessary and because of that fight the things happened and things didn't happen and it led to events you know you know i mean whatever i mean it created things which probably which could affect my existence probably if you go back and if you if you interrupt meeting your mom and dad probably you will not be born i mean there are few things which i mean i i prefer the second one because it's very logical and then you know it it, it puts on the debate very nicely like if i go back in time and if say there are few things obviously you know if we we all obviously there are things we all think that we could have done it differently but if you go back and do that differently i mean your outcome will not be probably you we might not be sitting here the moment you went back in time you have actually changed the course of your timeline anyways because yeah, yeah. you are going to do something and if you go and meet your other self then you might create another timeline so you are already fucking around the moment you actually left 
for uh, you know so i think i mean this is pretty interesting topic that way i mean i think there is so much scope to think about um, you know other than just going back i think back to the future that's why is so great that when you go back in time because i think that way i mean avengers was a great film but the time travel effect no i mean i could i could easily find 20 flaws now i mean i love the movie amazing great entertainment but then if i think about it now then i can easily you know you can you can get those 20 mistakes over there the moment you go back in time and even ask for a glass of water from someone you are actually changing that moment and it might be a very different reality later on one thing i i do like about uh the concept in interstellar is that you know you have time as a fourth dimension so you can choose on you know which um which time uh, line you want to go in life so that's something which is which is crazy or the back to the future thing you know uh, uh, uh having a time machine uh, it's something that people can relate to you know this portals i, I don't think that is something that can you know the time portals and what that people is too convenient but uh, for a very wild uh, concept of course but uh, yes. i'm i'm just reading an article which is called the grandfather paradox have you guys heard about the grandfather yes. paradox so basically it says that besides the physics problems time travel may also come with some unique situations like you know the grandfather paradox which we were discussing now so in which a time traveler goes back and kills his parents or his grandfather and the major plot which you see in terminator or back to the future because of that your existence yes, exactly. is, this is this is one theory and then you have you have those i mean time machine is something which probably fascinated me back then but i don't know i don't kind of like that idea where i have to sit in a time machine go back the time machine fucks up you know because back to the future was more than time machine i mean back to the future you know the doctor got i mean the way you know the third movie where he sends a letter from the great wild wild west from the western times he sends a sends a letter to marty and i mean it was beautiful i mean the way it, it panned out but i don't think i mean that way that way i think uh, i mean it was not just a time machine movie i mean no, you know, it was not a time machine movie but actually you know in in those days it was kind of like uh, uh yes the the whole concept around time traveling was all about you know you travel uh, at a faster speed at the speed of light and then you you can just i i don't know how the dial works you know you put the date in and then car goes and so that was something that but like they went both in the past and the future you know i mean yeah yeah they, they do travel both uh, in the past but like if, if you actually like travel closer to speed of light then uh, when when you when you slow back down you're actually traveling in the future uh, like you can't go into the past you know yeah. so i mean there was this movie called primer i mean it's a very small budget movie guys check it out so basically primer movie i mean the whole base was like so the, the time traveler actually stays in a box okay while time traveling so that movie the theory said that if you go back in time if you go 1 minute back in time you have to stay for 1 minute in the box so if you go 24 hours back in time you have to stay for 24 hours otherwise yeah i mean this is a theory again this is again i mean each 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 and every one I, i think i i also i also was in that uh, in that website where you're reading from and they have like five six theories there i'm, I'm okay. checking that out yeah <laughs> i was reading about this uh, movie tenet uh yeah. and uh, some people are claiming how the movie is not a time travel movie because uh I mean, frankly first of all i don't think anybody has uh, any idea what the movie is about i i, mean, I think it's uh, i mean what what they were justifying is that the movie is uh, mostly about time inversion or time reversal i am still that, trying to also audience rushan would you explain what what would you understand by time inversion I'm like actually, so basically uh, you know as we also seen the trailer they they control a time in a way that you know they are reversing the time and things around are going in a reverse way in an inverse way so that's something that you know i guess not many i mean i guess there was this movie uh, uh, called uh, the remote or, or something with remote ah uh, yeah 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 adam sandler adam sandler movie yeah, oh, yeah. so I, i think similar concept but in a little bit serious way where uh, i guess you know christopher nolan is trying to 
uh, explore uh, that time. yeah that specific way of time and you know how because i think i think now his his movies are you know also a great lesson uh, you 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 learn a lot of things around and you kind of uh, you know try to uh, interpret it your own ways and imagine how it would be and and then i think a lot of things which which are seen which you see in his movie is something that that can really exist at, at some point in life i mean i don't i about tenet we don't know yet what it's going to be like but then uh, interstellar well i i think we all the scientists have already proven that time travel exists and people the, you know the yeah 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 yes people do time travel but then it's not as fancy as in the movies you know you don't travel back like fucking 10 years to microseconds like yes it's just few microseconds but it's it's true even in inception although it is dream within a dream but then again but also he is playing with time yeah yeah it's yeah. also i mean it's also playing with time i mean in a span of 8 hours probably they're doing stuff in the in the dreams like things for months and years so i mean that way so what all what all other theories you guys can think about and any other time travel theory looper was something nice i mean i think um, where he goes back and comes to kill himself interesting interesting thing in looper is ke you you cannot change the time you know you yeah. like uh, no matter like how you just stuck in some fucking some kind of fucked up time to make this repeat for you that is i think one interesting time travel theory that no matter what happens i think this one is shown even in uh, the time machine movie uh, that you know no matter what happens you cannot stop certain events from happening you know they yes. will happen in exactly. one or the and, other exactly and thing. basically you you're getting you're giving yourself another opportunity to you know uh, perform better or or do things in a different way there is a similar uh, concept uh, as looper in a, in a netflix there is one web series uh, no there is a movie also in in netflix on netflix uh, it has a similar concept of looper but this guy is stuck in a in a lift naked and wow. and and then he wakes up and he has one hour uh, I, I don't remember the name right now, but I'll I'll give you guys uh, uh, I'll share you the name. It's funny because it does not you know explore the concept of uh, okay how things are happening. It's just that you know he's fucking stuck. Every time he does something, he's back to the same zero. You know, so basically he's chasing something he doesn't know yet, and then he has to complete it, and then you know he's out of that game, whatever. So yeah, I think it's it's fascinating for. you know filmmakers to make a movie about i mean then you have there is another phenomenon called time loop like edge of tomorrow you know the time keeps uh, i mean that was again a very nice thing yeah i thought it was pretty sexy i mean rather than going back in time and you know it was pretty nice i mean i i have seen very less of time loop films uh, of late i mean there were a few uh, shabby films i've seen yeah, but i think there is there is one i can vaguely remember Uh, I think I think are we uh, are we remember when you used to give us those CDs uh, DVDs of uh, movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think there was there was a movie in one of those DVDs, and uh, this is a very nice movie. So uh, there are like uh, these four people, four uh, people who were uh, formerly drug addicts. They were uh, receiving uh, you know uh, help in a facility to uh, recover from their addiction. and uh, you know suddenly they uh, realized that one day is looping again and again that they are living the same oh, day yeah. again and again yeah yeah and, uh, you know <laughs> then a series of events unfold uh, one of them is you know going crazy that i can do anything another one is like what if uh, tomorrow is a new day what then you know you will have to face the consequences and uh, so on and uh, that happens for some time and it's a very nice movie i forgot the name if anyone remembers the name I'm trying to remember yeah yeah I, i don't know if i've seen it but probably i will that is yeah if if, if, if the viewers if you guys remember the name just put it in the comments down there I really like the time time loop movie concepts uh, it was also something i wanted to make myself as a short film based on you know yeah, time, time loop. looping um but yeah never happened guys what about dark it's it's the topic of the town now i think i, mean, I remember when it came in 2018 i didn't see i didn't see in 2019 and suddenly i am seeing everyone reviewing i mean russian saying about dark 
So I started yesterday. I'm, um, I I don't want spoilers, but this is fucking brilliant, right? What? Uh, because when you put time travel with mystery, it becomes more more amazing because these guys are actually there is no loose end, you know, something yeah. which and, exactly yeah, yes. There is, there is nothing where okay no this guy came back this guy went back i think you know i like it in time travel films where you have to use little bit i mean a lot of your brains because otherwise it becomes like crush man you have to remember a lot because uh, you know such first of all they are like uh, such lengthy episodes which i like you know yeah. uh, yeah. i i don't like the short ones so these I, ones who are really, who, really intriguing what? who is Who's the who father? Is, who's how the is son? everyone related to everyone? What is going exactly, on? exactly? So the first time when I watched, you know, last year, uh, I because the first season was already out, the second season was in, so I started and I was mind fucked because Netflix is also, uh, you know, advertising it as a, a mind bending series. Yeah, it's true. It's it's a small town somewhere in Germany, and you know, there's a uh, Three, four families who's related to you know the, all the series of incidents, and I, I don't know if you. I guess you already know it now that you know every uh, the, the main thing in that film is about how people uh, travel, uh, you know, to oh, time traveling through, through a portal. The whole, yeah, the whole. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's a portal. The whole and idea as uh, you know, I mean, if you have a white hole and a black hole you don't just go straight i mean you could exactly. go in, go anywhere but then That's here the, the specific thing is people only travel 33 years in the past yeah or 33 in the, the whole past. is only connected you know uh, in every 33 year interval yes yes so they would either go from 2019 they are, they are in um uh, do the math 880 <laughs> Uh, no, they get a metro train, right? Like eighty-six, and then they go to fifty-three, and uh, um, so yeah. Don't don't just say, don't give me spoilers. But yeah, I, I I mean I'm 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 kind of enjoying it, and I think I mean in next three four days I'm gonna finish all of it because we just can't resist uh, this one. And I think this is a very I mean again this is not a new concept I would say, but because there are so much ideas and you can actually play with so much stories, I think this is more interesting than just going back in time, fucking around and coming back. I don't know if in Bollywood we have tried time travel much. I think they made action replay a very shabby remake of uh, shabby copy. Sorry, not remake a shabby copy of uh, Back to the. I think in, in the in, in Indian uh, fictional writing, the time travel. Uh, I don't I think, think people probably have. Probably we we are unable to have that much budget also because probably it is going to cost. But again, in India, But time travel. Just, is I, I don't I don't even know if there are any famous uh, any, any any good books about time traveling in, in India. No, because the problem so is that in India, we are still stuck uh, time machine theory. You know, so if yeah. you make. Time machine, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. So still, people have not realized that without the time machine, you can fucking make. But, a... but you know, I I read this in the uh, in I was I was I was reading it on internet uh, that there is a small mention of time travel in Mahabharata in in the you know in in the Mahabharata stories where these two wow. people they go to. Uh, let me just give you details because I don't want to mess it up. because it's marvel this is, is like, new yeah, that is new stuff bro this is breaking man like yeah, all no, the houses good. Of so world, but they have new. some time travel mytho- mythology so uh, yeah revdi uh, the only daughter of king kukudmi uh, who's a powerful uh, you know monarch who ruled the kushasthali and this What's is up? based in this is in 400 bc okay so uh, so he goes to brahma and he says like okay uh, Brahma, to who shall I uh, betroth this daughter? And <laughs> so um, at this point, you know, when he's asking, like, okay, I've come to you. Who's which? Which prince is the right one for my daughter? And who should I marry? Who sh- who should I make her marry? And when he asks this question, Brahma laughs. He's laughing at the foolishness of his king because he's like, oh, king, the princess that you thought would become bridegroom of your daughter all died. their sons and grandsons their friends they have all passed away because by the time you you came here you know the the yugs there were multiple yugs that passed away on on planet earth already 
so holy shit <clears throat> so so and then he says like okay so when you when you go back uh, you should marry this guy so uh oh. some guy and he names and then he goes uh, balarama yeah so when you go back uh, your daughter shall marry balarama so but this is fascinating because it's not you know people have to pick it up that much but travels in the future meets lord brahma no he, he, he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't travel in the future okay so he is he just uh he took him to brahma lok okay so, brahma, so probably uh, he he, yeah. he had some space machine he went to brahma lok to meet like brahma street, bro. <laughs> and then brahma was like dude what the fuck you just came here and generations passed so you cannot marry <laughs> anyone like now go back <laughs> go back and then marry this guy obviously we have all read little bit of mahabharata in our school i guess we had this tiny little you know book And our Hindi teacher, it was funny, but yeah. But this is crazy. Indian parents will travel light years to marry your kids. Guys, remember this. <laughs> Indian parents will do time traveling just to make sure that you get married to the right. You follow that marriage, so get married. Planet Land of Apes, yeah. and there is also Do- uh, Donny Darko. Donny Darko. Do you guys remember that? It's I think a terrific concept for Planet of the Apes, where he comes back and. Sees the whole world uh, conquered with apes. I think it was a very yeah. nice concept, by the way. I yeah. think uh, I think there was a love story called the Lake House. Have you guys seen it with yeah. Keanu Reeves? And uh, it was it was nice. I mean, Lake House was. I'm just seeing. I mean, because most of the movies have the similar story. So I'm. I mean, like going back in time. But I'm just trying to see if there is something which which was like, oh wow. I think very few have. I think you'll have to basically go and see IMDb or probably Google more because there are such movies which uh, don't have the commercial. Yeah. No, a lot of but lot I, of indie movies about time travel. Indie movies. They play. They have played with alternate dimensions a lot, and I love this alternate dimension theory more than time travel because I mean, okay, I consider alternate dimensions also as in the in the same bracket, but I think alternate dimension has a lot of scope and. i think with time travel i mean at the end of the day i think we have our whole uh, bracket defined you know but uh, the moment you open it up with alternate dimensions and you know what's yeah. happening in uh, oh my god i mean uh, i think it's in the genre in itself you know you cannot uh, classify this as a science fiction movie anymore because uh, whatever christopher nolan is making it's it's, it's a genre in its own i mean you know, because it is a he's creating a genre because it is a i mean you can your your stuff is as good as your imagination and i think i mean i look forward to actually after watching dark na i mean my my expectations with time travel stuff has become really high i mean i cannot take you know silly time travel movies anymore so the thing is like i finished watching sacred games uh, last year you know second season also and then right after that i i started watching dark and you know the when i was watching the first season I was kind of comparing the way how I don't know if it's because both are on Netflix, but the style of how you know the the opening credits and everything is so similar. And I was wondering, you know, yeah. what if Anurag Kashyap is making a time travel movie, or what if Sacred is a time travel, or Sacred Games is a time you travel? Know the no, I, I don't think. I don't think we we have we don't have. I think we do have writers. I think if a time travel Travel stuff comes for India in Hindi, a good, good, good one. I think it's only gonna come in OTT platform because I don't see any producer. Because I think there is, there are good writers in our country, but I think it is only Netflix and Amazon who are actually able to support these guys. Because I don't think anyone is willing to make a time machine movie, but I think people would be really interested on India's take on how. you know what we think about dimensions and i i would really want to see somebody come out with a very new aspect i mean rather than you know making a hoopla out of whatever has been made i think i would really i'm i'm looking forward to somebody coming out with a i mean content you know you know it's 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 fiction you you say a as b i will take it as a as b i mean you know so i mean i am waiting for something like this i think i i really like the idea of time loop and time loop is something which I mean, I have not seen many movies other than Edge of Tomorrow. I have seen a few. I don't remember the name. There's a lady who is actually stranded in a ship, and the events keep happening. It's called Triangle. If I don't know if you guys have seen, I didn't like the movie back then, but I think a few years back I saw it again. 
So there's this lady who goes in a ship, yeah, abandoned yeah. ship, and the events keep happening, you know, continuously, yeah. and the movie ends abruptly. So I mean, it's it's it it, it was a pretty boring movie back then. I, I thought like, okay, this is another dimension to time travel, and you know, this whole this whole phenomenon, the whole time travel phenomenon. I mean, uh, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, there's yeah. also uh, a novel I I'd like to you guys to check out. It's by Stephen King. It's called. Uh, Eleven twenty three sixty three. Uh, that's okay. the date uh, John Kennedy was assassinated. Okay. Uh, September twenty. Uh, sorry, uh, November twenty third, nineteen sixty three. And uh, it's a time travel novel. And Stephen King. I gotta tell you guys. Uh, I mean, as one of the best writers out there. Uh, I mean, it's it's a really good novel. Really well written, and uh, you would okay. really enjoy the story. you know it's i'll just tell you the premise you know uh, there is uh, there is this uh, person who owns a small diner he runs a diner in that uh, one of the trailer parks and uh, in his trailer park and he he has only one friend who is this ex uh, detective or police officer or something and uh, this friend one day visits him uh, in his restaurant and he's eating his burger and this guy is like you know what if i showed you something different today something freaky and this guy leads him to the storage room in the in the trailer there's a small storage section and he asks him to go down there's a uh, short staircase so this guy doesn't expect to go lower than uh, a few two or three steps but he keeps going lower and lower down and when he comes out he's suddenly somewhere else in uh, in some abandoned factory and then he's trying to come out and uh, when he sees the world outside he you know realizes that he's back in uh, 1958 Uh, which is like five years before uh, Kennedy was assassinated, and you know he spends a few minutes over there. He's like thirty, fifty, thirty minutes. He spends over there. He goes through the same route, and he comes back in the future to his friend. And exactly uh, two minutes had passed in pres at present. So no matter how much time you spend over there back in the past, you come back exactly two minutes later. It's something similar to this Nicholas K. Movie called Next. Have you seen this? It it shows one minute before you know he. It's not a time travel film. I mean, basically he gets visions of things um, which are happening one minute before. So it's 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 pretty interesting. I mean, I won't put it as a time travel thing, but again, it. I mean, I don't know where to classify this, but nice man, like eleven twenty three sixty three. Yeah. 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 I'm really excited to see how Tenet uh, is going I mean, to be yeah. and how it's going to end up. I, mean, actually, I don't know. I mean, I, I would really want the theaters to open up, and I'm gonna fucking go. I mean, I've just seen one trailer. I mean, two trailers. That's it. I mean, we are so mad about it's the film. Robert Pattinson. Pattinson, yeah. yeah. It is being sold as a as a John uh, John David Washington's film only. So he's the son of uh, Denzel Washington and. I mean, yeah, it's his big, big ticket movie, you know. Yeah. And I'm just waiting yeah. to, you know. I mean, it got postponed. It's on IMAX, so as usual, you know. We have to. I mean, so we have to go and watch it in IMAX. Uh, you know, we picked a very few topics in a very large universe right here. It's, I mean, everything is open to imagination. The way you think it, uh, you know. So definitely, I think it's been a great uh, talking to you guys, and you know, opened up a lot of possibilities as well. I mean. If you guys haven't started yet, or if you guys have just thought about watching Dark, then just stop thinking and start doing because um, this is one hot series on Netflix right now, and you know, it's worth your time. You you will travel time because you wouldn't realize. <laughs> Other than that, I I do uh, like to watch Rick and Morty episodes again and again, you know, because of somewhere course. down the line, it's it's all about interdimensional travel and. Also, Rick has his in his garage. You know, he has a box which says time travel and stuff, and then he keeps, <laughs> you know, things in his box. So yeah, it's 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 funny. I I like one of these episodes where, where you know uh, the snake episode, uh, which is <laughs> yeah. also about time traveling. Where, but okay, I don't wanna you know give out spoilers. But yeah. Please, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And we are probably coming to the end of our first season of podcast. This is our eighth episode, and we're probably gonna have two more, and then we're gonna close down for a bit, and then probably get back this fall. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Priyam. Thank you, Rushan. And 
yeah we'll see you again probably in next two weeks Ta -da. see ya